Heidi Ho YouTubers, it's February 13th, 2010, and this is the Podunk News. I wanted to start the articles off today with a little discussion on income inequality. It's getting worse all the time. We know that. You have less to pay and less money to pay for groceries and your bills every month. As a matter of fact, 42% of all wealth in America belongs now to 1% at the top of wage earners. I've got a link to the article. As always, all articles over in the sidebar. This article goes on to say that uh, only 34% of American households have a combined income now, over 65,000. The middle class is gone. <coughs> Here's an interesting article out of Oregon. Apparently there's uh, an ever-increasing number of people who are unable to pay their water bills there. This is a big problem if you have uh, medical issues, trying to keep things clean and sanitary. A lot of people are continuing to live in their homes without water. They just can't afford to pay the bills. The U.S., in other news, is spending itself into ruin with the wars. Afghanistan and Iraq have so far cost the U.S. over a trillion dollars alone. As a matter of fact, U.S. military spending in the U.S., including black ops and aid to foreign militaries, is over a trillion dollars this year. So much for my son's livelihood. I'm going to go on to, uh, I've got three articles here about uh, the real estate crisis. It's getting worse. We don't see a lot about it in the mainstream media. They used to focus an awful lot on the uh, subprime crisis. But the crisis is growing. It's not only in subprime borrowers. It's in top-level borrowers now. Many people are so upside down on their homes, they're choosing to just walk away and mail the keys to the banks. The banks have a term for that now, by the way. It's called jingle mail. 20% of all properties in Palm Beach County, Florida are now in default, have received notices of foreclosure or auctions. wonder what places like Detroit are now. I'll have to look that up for you. As a matter of fact, U.S. foreclosure filings top 300,000 for the 11th straight month last month. 300 and I need new glasses. 15,716 foreclosure filings last month in the US. One out of every 409 households in one month. What is that for the year? As a matter of fact, the banks are so overzealous in their foreclosures. I'd like to leave you with one last article about a family, a couple by the name of Charlie and Maria Cardosa who live in New Bedford, Mass. But they bought a 
retirement home in Florida in 2005. Paid cash for it. Had to mortgage in their the, the uh, title to the property in their hand. No mortgage. The Bank of America tried to foreclose on it recently. Changed the locks, kicked the, kicked the tenant out, threw away personal belongings. They're suing. Plan. Prepare. Do something every day. No matter how big or small towards your preparations. Adapt. We'll get through this. We will.